welcome to Jaren in the Kitchen. On today's episode, I will be showing you how to make a mini um, vanilla pound cake. The things you are going to need are six tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature, three fourths cup of cake flour, half cup of brown sugar, one and a half tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt, one whole egg plus one egg white at room temperature, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I am adding about one tablespoon of orange zest to make it more of an orange um, vanilla pound cake today, but you can totally leave that out. You can use orange, lemon, lime, or like I said, just leave it out. The fr And two three inch cake pans, this will also work in two four inch cake pans. They just won't be as tall. The first thing you're going to do is add your cake flour, your, your baking powder and pinch of salt to your small bowl and just mix those together. Once you have those two things mixed together, the next thing you are going to do is add in your butter that's at room temperature. Your half cup of brown sugar. And you are going to just cream these two together for, for about 30 seconds. So I have creamed together my brown sugar and butter and there is no more brown sugar. All of it has dissolved. So the next thing you're going to do is just scrape down the sides of your bowl. And you are going to just add in your milk, your one egg and egg white, your vanilla, and in my case, my orange zest. And then if you're doing lemon, you would add in the lemon zest right now, um, lime, the lime zest right now, or just leave it out. And you are going to mix this together um, for about another 30 seconds. So I have mixed this for about another 30 seconds. And now the final thing we are going to do is just add in all your cake flour, your baking powder, and salt all at once. And then you are going to just mix, keep on mixing this until everything is combined. So my batter is ready. The flour, baking powder, and salt got all incorporated. The next thing we are going to do is now pour it into the two pans evenly. The way I like to do this is just using a cookie scoop and just scoop the batter into each one. One scoop in one, one scoop in the other one, and just keep track. Make sure they both have the same amount of scoops and that way you know for sure each one has the same amount. So now that I poured the batter into each pan and they have the same amount, what you're going to do is just drop a couple times and this will just ensure that all the air bubbles get out. And then you need to make sure your oven is preheated to 350 and you are going to bake this for 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick insert is comes out clean. So my cakes baked for exactly 20 minutes and then I took them out of the oven and I let them sit in the pan for about 10 minutes and then I took them out and let them cool on a wired rack for about an hour. And as you can see here, I just used a serrated knife and just cut off the little dome part of the cake to make them nice and flat. And I am going to finish my 
I'll finish off my cakes with a nice orange glaze just because I add some orange zest to them. Um, by any means, you can use um, cream cheese frosting, you can use buttercream. You, if you do orange like I am, you can do an orange glaze. Lemon, you can do a lemon glaze. Lime, you can do a lime glaze. So basically, if you're doing any kind of glaze, um, I have one cup of powdered sugar in here. And I'm gonna just add in a little bit of extra um, orange zest that I did not use earlier for the actual cake. So I'm going to put that in here. And then this is where you want to kind of play it safe. You don't want to add too much orange juice, but you want to just add it a little bit at a time until you get the right consistency. So now I got my desired glaze. It's nice and runny. Now to finish off my cakes, I'm going to just pour an even amount of glaze on top of each cake. Then you can just use the back of your spoon just to spread it off. It's okay if some drips off the sides. So thanks for watching. That's how you make a vanilla pound cake. Um, I'll leave the recipe below and make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos. See ya. Bye.